I am going to read my fanfic I made called A Mysterious Journey. It is The Path and a Sonic the Hedgehog fanfic. One day Ginger is out playing in the woods having fun pretending she is a pirate and is looking for a place to bury the treasure she found. She keeps looking and looking until she stumbles upon the cemetery. She buries the treasure behind the angel statue, and then she starts getting this strange feeling like there is an intense atmosphere that missed her. She looks around and sees that in the center of the cemetery is a strange looking wavy thing that she realizes is a vortex. She approaches the vortex with a fascinating curiosity when a large gust of wind sucks her up into the vortex. When Ginger awakes, she realizes she is in a strange new world, unlike any she has ever imagined. She is ecstatic with wonderment and joy, and lets out a loud and happy squee. She is walking around in the mysterious new place, and sees over this hill in the distance the sight of a terrifying dystopia before her. She thinks to herself, that place looks like it could use some help from good old Ginger the Great. She carefully climbs down the hill and continues walking. She finds a strange looking log and examines it. The log makes a mechanical sound and reveals a secret passageway consisting of large hollowed out vines. She then hops in the passageway and is sliding down having the time of her life. When she gets to the end, she exclaims, That was really fun! I want to do that again! She tries looking for a way back up, but is unable to find one. She sees a meadow of flowers right to her right and goes to pick some to put them in her basket. After a few minutes of enjoying the beautiful flowers, she hears what sounds like a crying in the distance. As a kind of girl she is, she seeks the origin of where the crying is coming from. She notices that it is coming from deep in the forest, past the canyon, so she enters the forest, about in the middle of it, she approaches along a lone blue hedgehog, sitting in a log, crying his eyes out. Ginger is at first perplexed of this sight, and thinks, Crying blue hedgehog! He is almost as big as me. I know this is new to me, but I gotta see why he is crying and see if I can help him feel better. She sits next to the forlorn blue hedgehog and asks him in a concerned tone, What's wrong? Why are you crying? The blue hedgehog slowly turns his head to Ginger and looks slightly relieved and says, it's good to see at least someone else didn't get changed. My friends, they have all been captured and turned into robots by an evil man named Eggman. I was fast enough not to get caught, but when I tried to free him, I was unable to pass through the, because he s set up a force field which prevents anything from entering without his permission. So I came here to think at the old fort I shared with my friends. Oh my, that's horrible. Is there anything I could do to help? Ginger exclaimed. I don't know yet, the blue hedgehog replied. Ginger says to him in a curious tone, I know this might not be the best time and may also seem weird, but... What planet am I on? The blue hedgehog looks at her funnily and then replies, Why, none other than planet Mobius, of course. You're not from around here, I take it. Ginger is surprised and then says, Whoa! I've never been to another planet before. My name's Ginger, by the way. What's yours? The blue hedgehog replies in a slightly happier tone, Sonic is the name and speeds my game. It's nice to meet you, Ginger. 
Sonic then pauses. Ginger smiles at Sonic and says, The same to you. She knows Sonic is in a pause. What's wrong, Sonic? Sonic then breaks out of his pause and says, Happier than ever, That's it! I think I just found out a way on how I could get my friends back and how you can help me. The two of them are overjoyed and give each other a hug. Ginger says to Sonic, That's great! You know, close up, you're actually kind of cute. Both of them blush, and Sonic replies nervously, Um, <laughs> thanks. Y you are due. Now let's go save my friends. Ginger says, Okay, please lead the way. Sonic leads Ginger around the canyon towards the city, and as they are walking, explains his plan to her. All right, here, here's the plan. In order for this to work, since Eggman doesn't know you yet, you walk up to the cameras in front of the force field and ask to be let in. When you do, he should ask who you are and tell him you are new here. He should let you in, and when he does, you walk into the city and I'll be hiding in this backpack I give you. Once you're, we're in there, then begin the search for my friends, and when we gather them all up, find a machine to turn them back to normal. Any questions? Ginger replies, Yes. Don't you think this egg man would keep the machine closer to him in his main HQ? Sonic says, Yeah, that is a good point. Ginger replies, Would it? Wouldn't if we just destroy the machine, it turned them all back to normal? Sonic replies, Actually, yes, that might just work. Then they near the city, and Sonic hops in the backpack. Ginger approaches the city cameras and, and asks, Hey, Eggman, is it alright if I enter the city? Eggman replies over the intercom, Why, certainly! Say, are you new around here? I don't remember seeing you before. Ginger says, Why, yes, I am. I lived in a city far from here and recently moved out to look for somewhere else to live, sir. Eggman replies with deep business, Look no further, child. Eggman then opens the forest field, and Ginger walks in. Ginger sets the backpack down and says, Okay, Sonic, we're here. Sonic gets out of the backpack. Whoa! I can't believe we made it in! Sonic says in excitement. The two then continue to walk down the city, and after 30 minutes, come to this scrap heap, and from behind it, a robotic tails emerges and attempts to attack them. Sonic yells, Stop, Tails! We do not wish to hurt you! We're here to help! Don't you remember me? I'm Sonic, your best friend! Tails halts and says, as if in pain, Sonic! Please, you gotta help me! It hurts, Sonic! Tails bursts out, into a pile of tears. Sonic says to comfort him, Don't worry, little buddy. We'll help you. Sonic gives Tails a hug and tells him, Listen, Tails. I know you're in a lot of pain right now, but you gotta try and bring the others to the entrance of the force field. When we defeat Eggman and destroy his machines, you'll turn back to normal and you guys can run out of here to the fort. We'll meet up with you later. I promise! Tails looks reassured and says with a faint smile, Okay, Sonic. So Tails goes to gather up the others while Sonic and Ginger walk towards Eggman's HQ as planned. Once they get inside, they are greeted by a horde of attack 
Sonic says to Ginger, Get down! Then he repeats, proceeds to destroy the robot bad guys. After he's done, the two heroes proceed to walk up the stairs to Eggman's control. To their surprise, Eggman is not there. They walk in and Sonic yells for Eggman. He then says, I don't like the looks of this. Something is giving me a bad feeling about this. Ginger replies, Me too. The door is shut abruptly and Sonic and and suddenly and scares Sonic and Ginger. Eggman walks in front of them and says, So, Sonic, I knew I'd find you here. You've fallen right for my trap. Time for my Eggmatron to end you once and for all. Eggman hops inside of his menacing contraption and fights Sonic. As Eggman holds Sonic in his machine's hands, tightening the grip, Ginger yells at him. Hey, Eggman, aren't you forgetting about me? Ginger throws a chair at the Eggmatron and cracks the cockpit window. Eggman lets go of Sonic and yells furiously, Blast you wretched child! You'll pay for that! Eggman launches some missiles at Ginger, and in the nick of time, Sonic rescues Ginger and charges up a light dash, strike, and destroys Eggman's contraption, knocking Eggman to the floor, briefly stunned. Sonic and Ginger then proceed to destroy the horrible thing that turned Sonic's friends into the robots, and they are returned to normal as planned. Not long after Sonic and Ginger exit the building, they are being chased by Eggman in his gliding machine. Eggman says furiously, Curse you wretched brats! I was so close to having everything! And then you to go and take it all away from me. I'm gonna get you too. Sonic and Ginger are running for their lives with Eggman slowly catching up to them. Ginger notices a vortex ahead and yells to Sonic. Hey Sonic, in there, it'll take us to safety, quick. They jump in the vortex and lose eight. The heroic duo returns to the path towards Ginger's grandma's house. Sonic says, while wiping sweat from his forehead, Phew! That was close. Oh, what? Where are you? Ginger says, Why none other than the road to my grandma's house here on planet Earth? Sonic then is slightly relieved, and then asks, what about my friends? How will we get back? Ginger replies, We'll just have to wait for another vortex to open, I guess. Anyways, I gotta go to my grandma's house and give her this basket of goodies I've been carrying around. You coming with? Sonic replies, Sure, I don't really have anywhere else on this planet to go. So they head to grandma's house, and when they get in, Ginger says with, the happy, with happiness, Grandma, I'm here. I also brought you a friend, if you don't mind. Grandma replies in a feeble voice while coughing. <coughs> Why, yes, child, I don't mind. Please come here and bring a friend, too, just as they are. Just as they are about to enter. Grandma's room. Sonic pauses and says, I don't know if I can do this. I kind of feel strange being in your grandma's house like this. Ginger replies, Please relax. You'll be fine. You two might actually get along pretty well. Sonic says, Okay. Okay. I guess it's worth a shot. Here we go. They enter Grandma's room and Ginger says hi to her grandma, but something seems off about her. Grandma says in a surprise, Whoa! It's, who is that? Ginger then replies, 
This is my friend Sonic. I helped him save his friends from an evil man after I found out this vortex in the woods at the cemetery. Grandma, still trying to grasp what is going on, then says, Of course you did, child. Now come here and give Grandma a hug. As Ginger approaches her grandma to give her a hug, Sonic notices, notices her eyes flash an evil color for a second, and Sonic yells, Ginger, watch out! I don't think that's your grandmother! Ginger turns her head in confusion, and her grandma lunges towards her, revealing herself to be the big bad wolf. Sonic spin dashes the evil wolf in the belly, knocks him out cold. Sonic says, Boy! That is a close one. Are you all right? Ginger replies with shocking confusion. The... Yeah. How did you know she wasn't my real grandma? Sonic explains. Before she hugged you, I saw her eyes flash a spooky color that gave me the creeps. The rest you know. Ginger says. Okay, I guess now that that's cleared out of the way for now. I could take you to see my sisters. Oh, will they not believe this? Sonic shrugs, and then he proceeds to walk to Ginger's. They proceed to walk to Ginger's grand home. <clears throat> Sorry. Ginger tells Sonic to wait by the door, and then enters to greet her sisters, happy, happy and excited and then tells them about the adventure she went on. Robin and Rose are fascinated by the story, but her older sisters are skeptical, and her sister Skylar replies, Don't tell me you are imagining things again, Ginger. You really need to stop that. It is not good for you, your health. Ginger says, No, really. I'm telling the truth this time. Look, I even got proof. Sonic! Come here and say hi to my sister. Scarlet gives Ginger a look. Sonic enters the door, and her sisters are all in shock of confusion. Scarlet yells, Ah! What is that? Ginger angrily says, That happens to be my friend Sonic I was telling you about. I appreciate if you showed him some respect. After everyone gets over it, then they ask Sonic all sorts of questions. After hours of tiresome questions, Ginger says to her sisters, So did you guys decide whether or not you want to come to Sonic's world to live with us like I asked before? They think a while, then say, Yes! Scott takes them to the car and drives them to the cemetery. And as fate would have it, the vortex is still there. They enter the vortex and are greedy, greeted by Sonic's happy friends who are relieved he is safe. Tails points to Ginger and says, That is the girl who saved us. Now, that's here. We can finally throw a party. They all cheer and then proceed with the party. Meanwhile, back in the woods near Grandma's house, Eggman arrives and is gliding around in his machine and encounters the big bad wolf and asks him, Say, you wouldn't have by chance seen a little girl. Eggman is interrupted and big bad wolf finishes his sentence. And a big blue hedgehog? Why, yes, I have. Did they ruin your plans too? Eggman says with relief and deviousness, oh, Why, yes, they did. Do you want to join forces and get rid of those brats once and for all? The big bad wolf replies, Yes, I would. Right this way. I saw them go into the vortex in the cemetery. When they get to the vortex, they then enter to be included.